to an audience question. So uh, Kim McIver, a local community member, had a question about uh, local accessibility uh, for availability of indoor and outdoor activities. So take it away, Kim. My name's Kim McIver and I was injured in a motor vehicle accident just over three years ago. And I would like to ask the question, what's available for a resident Quinell, of Quinell for indoor and outdoor activities that will enhance physical development and a love for the outdoors? So that was a question from Kim McIver, a local community member, about uh, getting more involved in indoor and outdoor activities and, and really participating actively. So I can speak to that a little bit. Uh, first off, let me start with our recreation centre. If you want to be active and just be around other people, it's got wonderful access to get in for programming that they offer. They've got amazing accessibility in there. And I think we have one of the best accessible gyms to go for a workout or a stretch or whatever it is that you need to do in almost the province. Wow. There's not many places that have all of the available equipment that we do. We've got the universal gym, we've got a stand and glide frame, we've got a hand cycle that also will cycle your legs, huge stretching mat, free weights, and a real understanding of the people who work there because they worked with us for so long on what we need. And when we have an idea of what's needed, they listen, they listen and, and they help us reach out for more. And that's just, that's just in the gym, mm -hmm. right? The, the pool is excellent as well. They have that awesome track system that goes right from the change rooms all the way to the pool and you can reach the hot tub as well. And they have a, an accessible changing table that you can raise and lower depending on uh, some people are in higher chairs, if it's maybe a power chair. Some people are in lower chairs like ours, so you can put it to your level so that you have a nice smooth uh, transfer onto the changing table. Um, they have opening automatic doors at their front door, at the weight room, um, and into the family changing room where, where the accessible change... Oh, all the changing room. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, they're, I think it was Diane Rogers really started these projects and really sort of was very forward thinking and at looking about uh, looking into accessibility for the rec center, applying for grants, and now Richard Gauthier has moved into her position since her retirement this past June, and I think that you know Diane sort of mentored him uh, perhaps a little bit in this because Richard seems to be continuing on, um, you know, with her sort of legacy and, and looking forward to to new projects that he can bring accessibility to the rec center as well. So. But not just the projects, the programming as well. We had the opportunity often to s knock on our door and speak with Taryn Lefebvre, who works there. She does the programming that Richard used to do. Okay. And she says, what kinds of things would you like? What are you interested in? A yoga bench would be wonderful, you know, to, <laughs> to not have to get somebody to hoist you up and down off the floor, things like that. I'm always pushing for a yoga bench. But to just be asked, I think, is really important. But th I mean, and that's just our recreation center. I heard a while ago there was some talk of another bowling alley going to be built up in the south end of town, but I haven't heard any more about that. Mm -hmm. An accessible bowling alley would, would be wonderful. Yeah. We've got lots of outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. There was a time a while back at the, what's the lake where the wonderful trail is, where they cross country ski? Hallis Lake. Hallis Lake, yeah. where there had been some talk about getting a sit ski for cross country skiing okay. to have it in the rental. Because it's, if you've never done it and never thought, well, if I really want to be active, you're not going to go buy a sit ski first. It's nice to be able to rent them, just like skis, right? Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that that will come to fruition at some point in time. We have a great trail system around Quinell. Uh, Lynn and I very often in the summer, uh, generally we, we park at Seal Tingley and kind of branch out from there. Maybe, you know, go around the trail this way or go over the walking bridge and do some of the west side trails. Uh, so that's definitely, uh, you know, a really good way of being able to be outdoors and, and keep fit and, and that kind of thing. It's a good social time for us too to, to catch up because we both have busy lives doing other things as well. So it's a nice time to get together and, and to be able to catch up. Our new arena or that we've mentioned uh, mm -hmm. 
is, is wonderfully accessible. Lynn and I both were there for the opening night concert and the, the hockey game the day after. So it was great to be able to go in and, and check it out and the elevator and the seating and, and stuff like that. So And to be able to go upstairs, not mm -hmm. to be forced to speak ground level because you couldn't get anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And then the you can wheel up there as well. Like it's a there's a walking track up there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can be active there. And as yeah. well, the soccer pitch, right? Yes. The in, you can wheel inside, or walk, yeah. <laughs> wheel inside at the soccer pitch. Mm -hmm. So opportunities to stay active in the winter, which is a challenge when you're in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's great to hear that there are those opportunities, right? And yeah, Cornell is such a beautiful community, so to have that accessible for everyone is essential. But those are just our physical things, you know? Our movie theater has some good spots if you need access. And even though there's no slope in there right now, which I'm really hoping will change with the Reed Street expansion, mm -hmm. but they put a, a ramp right out there for you really quickly if and you need. They're more than happy. They're, they're really happy. And they're got the yeah. ramp out and so that you can get up that, that one little step that they have. And our restaurants are wonderfully accommodating, you know, to make you feel you know, you're not a big spectacle if they've got to move tables around or things. So you can just go out and be social with your family, your husband and your friends. Mm -hmm. and, 